my name is Lisa Westoff and I am the lead instructor and the program director for the Bachelors of Applied Science in Dental Hygiene degree completion program. Our courses are built to integrate into whatever career a dental hygienist is in at the moment. So there's so many different things that a dental hygienist could be doing with their license. They could be working in private practice, they could be working in public health, they could be working in education, um, they could be having their own business, like the list just goes on and on. When you're in dental hygiene school, it's all immersive. You're in the clinic, you're, you're on campus constantly, where with the degree completion side of it, we're integrating school into what you're doing. And a lot of times students find they're doing coursework at night. They're doing coursework on the weekends because they're working. Monday through Thursday, Monday through Friday. We wanted to make sure that we had some elements in the program that were slightly different and in our view better <laughs> than some of the existing programs that are out there. There's a couple courses in particular that we really wanted to make sure we included. One of them is a business course that will help dental hygienists, whether they stay within a dental dentist owned practice because they're going to have better insight into the business side of things. That's a huge benefit to an employer, um, but also gives them the baseline knowledge and confidence to open their own dental hygiene practice. Another course that we wanted to make sure that we included was advanced um, pharmacology. It's really important that dental hygienists have a very strong understanding of pharmacology because there are lots of medications that are prescribed when you work in a dental setting. A bachelor's for dental hygiene has a number of, of uh, possibilities. One of the main things is that it can extend your longevity of your career. So clinical dental hygiene can be really taxing on our body, like physically. And you'll hear anecdotally, a lot of dental hygienists talk about how they get burned out. And our goal really is that even if someone is not feeling like they can physically or mentally do clinical dental hygiene in a practice setting full time, that they're not just leaving the profession altogether. There are so many options out there for them. But sometimes you need a little bit more education to really be able to jump into those spaces. 